This is Valley Tears from MMP Games, part of the Battalion Combat series. This is the situation on the Golan front at the end of the fourth day. In the north, the Syrians' commandos are still hammering at that last Israeli fortified position up there to no success. So I went and they are they're running out of troops basically they're getting very weak the uh, division here the 7th infantry pushed forward uh, they've gone beyond their flat barrier here uh, so they're vulnerable but they're exploiting quite well into the north and getting a lot of territory but yet again they're getting weak they're running out of armour they've taken absolutely horrific losses in armour which is supporting units for this actual infantry division you've got in the centre here the 9th infantry are probably the least damaged of the Syrian units but they haven't got a great deal of armour I think they've lost, they've lost a lot of their armour as well but their infantry is looking relatively un, unscathed they're pushing through in the centre um, they managed to get the drop on the uh, Israeli T tenth. Um, no, they didn't. They didn't get the drop on that. Uh, just ignore that. The uh, first tank divisions in support pushing forward as well. So they're well below beyond the uh, purple line here, but uh, they're getting to a situation where they're running out of strength. Uh, the Israelis have taken a battering, but the, because they're getting much more in the way of reserves, especially armour um, and replacements, this isn't looking too good for the Syrians. Um, even though the position on the board might look quite favourably, a lot of these units are taking a hell of a beating. Um, we've got... In the south, the 5th Infantry are making good progress as well, they're reaching uh, the, the flat barrier here, which, uh, which is quite which is quite pushed forward in the south, so that's not a big problem. Um, the Israelis, they're just feeling the pressure, they haven't just haven't got enough units to contain the front at the moment, but what units they have got are very good. Um, and hopefully replacements will keep topping them up. They had a lot of air power from both sides uh, and people were experimenting with destructive barrages which is something they haven't really done because it's a bit of a gamble especially if you're trying to attack armour hard targets uh, but destructive barriers are very good against infantry. All in all, there have been quite a lot of tank battles, which uh, again, the Israelis getting the advantage because of their superior gunnery techniques um, and better tanks in many cases and, and certainly better training. So their action ratings are higher. Uh, but it's all to play for still, uh, but both sides are, are feeling the strain of this now.